What's up guys, Corey here. Gonna show you something real quick. This changed the game for us on our snow removal. I'd say this is a must have snow removal mod. If you're running any type of blades on tractors and you're going along and you're gonna be doing sidewalks with them, I really think this is a must have. I'm gonna show you guys what we run. Uh, we use this tractor for snow removal. This is a Bobcat CT120. I've had this thing for oh, eight, nine years ago. Here's a Deer 455. This has got a snowblower on it. I don't, I just picked this uh, tractor up and it's got a snowblower on it. I'm gonna get a uh, blade for it because when it's wet and heavy, this thing just won't toss the snow. But what I'm here to talk to you about, and in the thumbnail, I've got that BX Kubota tractor with a blade on it. So. When we run these, we use this to do a lot of uh, back drags with. We uh, do driveways with it quite a bit. Uh, I don't like to do sidewalks with it because it just basically builds up the snow. If we absolutely have to, we will. But that BX Kubota in the thumbnail has a blade on it. And when I get a blade for this deer, I'm definitely going to do the same thing. So this thing is awesome for back dragging driveways. Uh, it carries the snow. But before I did this mod... We would hit uh, cracks, it just stopped the, uh, stopped the tractor dent his tracks, and also, what we did one time, big mistake, we ran this down a sidewalk, this was too wide for the sidewalk, this cutting edge, the cutting edge on the box blade caught a lot of the sprinkler heads and ripped them right out of the ground, so that cost me, oh, probably, I don't know, a thousand to fifteen hundred bucks. So, here's a solution to that. This actually, this right here is very thick, hard rubber right here. So this is actually made for snow plows. You're supposed to run it on snow plows. So snow plows, like if you've got a, uh, oh, I don't know if you, if you're drive or if you're plowing uh, parking garages, a lot of the times they won't let you run steel cutting edges. So you would run this instead. But what I do is I've run it, I run mine on this right here. So what I've done is I've pulled the cutting edge off, then I've taken this piece of rubber right there, I've run it all the way across. Now the beauty of this is, I ran this for two seasons, I haven't had to uh, move the rubber at all. This, this stuff will last for a very, very long time, very long time. But with this rubber edge, one, it will skip over, it'll skip over, uh, oh, it'll skip over cracks, and most of all, it doesn't get into the grass. It will not, I, I can't say it won't damage any grass, but if your frown, if your, your ground is decently frozen, it will, it will go right over it, and it should not scalp the grass as bad, and it should also not rip out sprinkler heads is bad. I've ran these on that little BX tractor with the blade that's in the thumbnail. Uh, I don't have that here. It's sitting out on a property, but I run it on that and then I'm running on this and it has decreased our issues quite a bit. This thing, this rubber scrapes darn near as good as a metal blade, believe it or not. So this solved a lot of our issues. Plus with these types of blades, as you know, you hit a decent sized crack on a, uh, you hit a decent sized crack with this thing, it catches, it stops the tractor dead in its tracks. It's, it's brutal. It's absolutely brutal. So anyways, I just want to uh, share this hack with you. I got this, I actually didn't have to buy this stuff. A buddy of mine had it and I don't know how much it is, but I do know that it's made for snow plows. Um, I might actually try it, try to put a little piece on this snow blower because this thing the same thing man you're cruising down the street or cruising on a uh, sidewalk boom you hit that it literally puts your head right through the windshield so i might try it on that but anyways i just want to show you guys what we use i think it's an awesome way to basically kind of reduce damage to uh turf sprinkler heads you know you can go right over a uh you know, right over the grass very rarely do you, your blade's going to go over if you got a 54 inch blade you're going to get into grass and you got to reduce the uh reduce the damage so anyways 
this is my setup. Uh, when I get the Kubota, I'll, I'll take some more video of that, but that's sitting out on a property right now, um, waiting for snow. Thanks for watching. Leave some comments below.